Hello, I'm Jonathan Bowman Perks and welcome back to my favorite time of the month. This is month two in the series of podcasts that I've been doing. And I also wanted to share some of the experiences I've had coaching leaders and teams and some of the themes that have come up in some of the talks that I've given with the audiences. Firstly, some of you have been noticing the uh, podcast theme that I have there, which is on Apple. Uh, if you listen to those podcasts, and I would encourage you to go to Inspiring Leadership with Jonathan Bowman Perks and listen to those podcasts. They're free from the different leaders, some on videos, but some directly to the podcast. And also you'll just see at the top of the screen this, which is my father's hat from uh, his days as a naval officer. And this was the hat that he had in his wardroom on the day that he was killed. Um, when I was three years old. And what's quite interesting is the hat fits. And there is a saying in the Navy, when the cap fits, wear it. And you may wonder why I'm doing these inspiring leadership podcasts. It's because of the man who wore that hat, because he was so very inspiring. He was a hero who died flying in one of his men's airplane and also saving his navigator, his co-pilot. Bill, Commander Bill White, who lived to tell me and encourage me to be more of an inspiring leader myself, because I wasn't at that time, and to look for men and women that are inspiring, inspired me, and that I can learn from, but also that I can pass on that learning to you, the people who are listening to these podcasts. It's very nice. I was just with a client now doing some coaching with their stakeholders, and one of them, Gura, very kindly said, John, I've been watching these podcasts please keep them coming. I'm finding them very useful. Some won't and they won't watch them, but I hope a lot of you do and please spread the word. So what's been going on uh, this month, the second month of the podcast and the themes that I've picked up? As you know, any of you who've listened, I love stoical philosophy and I, I like a lot of the work of Ryan Holiday, his book, The Daily Stoic, I read every day. And from that, I've taken two themes and added a third of my own because the rule of three, if you're ever presenting, is incredibly useful. People like triangles, they like threes. Somehow, as humans, it works for us. So, number one, in stoical philosophy, there is this saying, and it's very fundamental to it. You don't control what happens to you in life, but you do control how you respond. So that's the thing you can control, how you respond. Situations are neither good or bad, but it's your response and your thought about them that makes a difference. And we are what our choices make us. I'll say that again, we are what our choices make us. So you can't blame anybody else, it's your choices that you made. Which leads me on nicely to Marcus Aurelius. And he said, blame yourself or blame no one the only place to look for approval is in, within yourself, and the same goes for disapproval and fault finding. As soon as we try and get it from other people, we are compromised and we compromise our integrity. You've handed over your power to somebody else. So either don't blame anyone or blame yourself for whatever happens, for everything that happens, those are the options. The third, the third thing that I have taken to heart and I'm working on every day myself is these big two words, let go, exclamation mark, let go. Because control is the master addiction. And if I look at many of the men and women who are leaders and the teams they're in, Many of the problems are down to them trying to control everything too much and everyone too much. It's something that I keep reminding myself about often things that don't matter. Let go. It doesn't matter. Because I've worked with and lived with people in the past who love to impose what's called coercive control. They manipulate, they twist you, they subtly work on you, they use passive aggression or open aggression to get you to do what they want. Be very careful in situations like that and get out of them. So those are the three themes uh, this second month uh, of podcasts that I've picked up. And then who have I interviewed in this second month? Well, 
Colonel Tim Collins, OBE, the commanding officer of the Royal Irish. He was in the Gulf War and he also served with the SAS, now an author and in business. Very interesting guy with some quite controversial views and, and also um, very strong-willed views. And it was an interesting conversation with Tim. Air Marshal Sir Graham Stacey, who like Tim, uh, was with me at Staff College. Um, QC, um, KCB, CB, QCVS, MBE, and they're all Air Force. So tough, um, wily rugby player who commanded the British forces in Cyprus and had a number of very interesting jobs um, around the world and in Bosnia at the time of the Dayton Peace Accord. Richard Fenning the CEO of Control Risks and also an advisor now and becoming a coach himself. Very interesting with his geopolitical views as well as his practical views. Then, um, very different kind of person, Nathan Newton Willington. Nathan, a 30 year old, who really as a personal trainer, self-taught on your mindset and your attitude, how to get from, as he was age 17, a beast to becoming a six foot four, very strong, uh, very healthy individual, and how he helps other people, and a really good philosophy for life. That was an interesting podcast. Uh, then number uh, the next uh, episode was Johnny Gray, uh, also a senior partner at Control Risks, and uh, worked in major events. And he's going on to become, in a month or two's time, the CEO of the Tennis Integrity Unit dealing with match fixing and drugs and problems that happens and that bring down the integrity of the profession of tennis. Then um, after him, Paul Cleal and the next episode, the former people board member at PricewaterhouseCoopers and now an advisor and working in a number of non-executive roles, but particularly about inclusion and diversity. Followed by Ashok Gupta, Ashok is a chairman and CEO of multiple firms in the insurance and tech space as an entrepreneur. And the final one, Alexander Niggy. And Alexander is the senior vice president of marketing, communications, and the digital side, where he's quite an expert in the Emirates Airlines Group. Very interesting man. So that was month two. Then month three, you'll be, um, I'll be Touching on these people uh, in month three, Alison Hutchinson, the CEO of Pennies, uh, James Knight, MC, who is ex Royal Marine officer and works at St. James's Place, Fiona Lambert, the MD of Harp and Fashion, and worked at Next and George at Asda, uh, Colonel Gary Hearn, the divisional director from the Defence Academy, David Heron, the CEO, uh, the group CEO of Wilton and Bain, executive search and talent, Colonel Tim Wilson, uh, ex Army officer now the CEO of MSI Global Alliance. Roger Steer, the corporate philosopher, some great wisdom on ethics and integrity. And finally, Lieutenant General Tim Evans, CB, CBE, DSO, the commander of the Allied Rapid Reaction Corps, and now a general working with the Saudi Armed Forces. So a fascinating group of people. I look forward to you joining me in the future episodes, but also thinking about what we've learned in this month. Great talking with you, and I look forward to getting any feedback from you, suggestions of truly inspiring leaders that you know that you would want me to have on the show. Please get in touch. Great talking with you.